this section what I'd like to visit with you about is looking at poultry litter and the pros and cons of poultry litter. And one of the real advantages of using poultry litter is that it has a liming effect. Actually it has about one-tenth the strength of limestone. So uh, we can get a pretty substantial improvement in soil pH over the years when we use poultry litter at uh, economically relevant uh, rates. Here you can see poultry litter application after four and five years respectively has increased the soil pH by approximately 0.6 uh, units. So it's a, it does have a, a very substantial and positive effect on poultry litter. Now we're oftentimes asked about the addition of, of alum. And alum is used in the poultry houses oftentimes to control uh, ammonia loss. And alum can have an effect on, on uh, the material as well and how that is used in the soil. Here's a study that comes from the University of Arkansas. And what you can see here is that over the several years, they monitored soil pH, and this is actually salt pH. So you would, to get it to water pH, you would actually add uh, 0.6 pH units. So what you can see there on the bottom, the line on the bottom is actually uh, where they applied only ammonium nitrate. And the ammonium nitrate has an acidifying effect on the soil. And so you can see that as, as time has gone by, it's actually acidified that soil a little bit. Now, what you can also see is uh, right next to that is the unfertilized control. We're just kind of uh, hovered around about 5.0 about 5. 5. to 5.2 to 5.3 or so. The alum treated litter uh, did improve the soil pH a little bit but it did not improve the soil pH as much as the non or normal uh, litter, the non-treated uh, poultry litter. Now in terms of the overall yields, however, there really wasn't a whole lot of difference between the alum treated litter and the normal litter over the culmination of those several years in terms of total yield. In this particular case, I believe they were studying tall fescue uh, forage production. But you can definitely see the difference between the uh, unfertilized control there at the bottom. There begins to be a little bit of a separation there uh, with the, those areas that are only receiving ammonium nitrate. That gets back to some of the issues with stand density and production uh, because of the lack of uh, fertility and some of the other macronutrients, as well as the acidification of that soil uh, with the acidifying use of, of uh, nitrogen fertilizers that have an acidifying effect on the soil. Now, many folks question about uh, the, the increased pressure that we sometimes see for weeds after the use of poultry litter. Now, the poultry litter itself is not a source of weed seed. However, it does change the fertility environment quite a bit. Uh, it kind of gives a competitive advantage to many of the broadleaf weeds, but it also uh, has, uh, it has a consistency that ends up with a lot of chunks that are being applied to the field, and those chunks actually can, uh, if a weed seed were to land on it, uh, gives it a very fertile and very good environment to try to get a foothold in the pasture, and sometimes that's the avenue by which the, uh, the weeds are actually introduced to the pasture. Now we also see an increase in insect pressure as well. Insect pressure mainly from uh, grubs, grubs from beetles that would fly around and, and the larvae of those, uh, those beetles would be uh, the grubs that would be burrowing under the soil and causing damage and feeding on the root systems. We see that with the green june beetles, we also see that with sugarcane beetles and some other kinds of, of uh, uh, grub forming types of insects. We also see an uptick, uptick in the amount of damage by winter grain mites. Winter grain mites damage winter annuals that might be over sown into uh, Bermuda grass or over or planted into fields where a lot of poultry litter or other waste has been used over the years and the winter grain mite actually has a nice convenient habitat there in that organic matter that's on the soil surface. 
Now the other challenge with uh, using poultry litter is uh, it's really critical for us to focus on potash fertility and, and poultry litter actually generally has relatively little potash fertility. Uh, it generally averages an, about 332, a equivalent fertilizer ratio of about 332, whereas the ideal Bermuda grass fertilizer is more like a 413. So we need a more of a balance between the potash and the, the nitrogen uh, than, we j than we typically get with the uh, potash that's in poultry litter or other types of animal waste for that matter. So I hope that this uh, gives you a little bit of an overview of some of the benefits and the pros and cons of using poultry litter in some of our pastures. Uh, there are many other aspects of, from an environmental perspective as well, but strictly from an agronomic perspective, these are some of the concerns or some of the issues that we would recognize uh, for production in those hay fields and pastures. For more information on this, I encourage you to check out our uh, publication on using poultry litter in forage environments on our website at georgiaforages.com.